being part of a church and understanding all the tenets of the faith and being able to, uh, growing up being involved in that environment, you kind of always just knew what to do and knew what you were supposed to do. But then as we became adults, and obviously as I became an adult when we got married, uh, you know, then we had to really put that into practice in our own life and our own family. We did a lot of traveling and a lot, well, a lot of moving around with John's job. So we always weren't a faithful tither. I took care of the finances and um, sometimes things seemed a little uh, too tight and so we didn't tithe and we didn't have a home church that we went to. However, I knew that was wrong. And so whenever we got back into church and started going to church, it was something that we picked up and continued to do. You know, we just decided that this is something that's not an option for us. So um, the first and 30th or the first and 15th of every month when we get paid, we know that our tithe is the first thing that comes out. You know, I believe that God definitely uh, blesses our faithfulness. And when we're faithful in everything, you know, tithing is one aspect. Uh, there's many other things that, that we should be faithful in, but I always view it this way, you know, God gave us everything. He gave us His Son, died on the cross, and completely washed away all of our sin, and gave us a path to relationship and a path to heaven. He gave us all of that, and all He asks of us is obedience. We give a, give our tithes out of the first fruit. The very best that we have, the very first, we give that back to God. We do that because before anything else happens, we recognize that all the things, all the blessings in our life come from Him. Uh, that includes our finances, includes health, it includes everything that we have. With automatic withdrawal and being able to go online and set your payments up to tithe each month, um, and we even have an app that you can do it. You know, you can set it up and do your payment right there. Um, it's just really so easy. And so tithing to me has a very spiritual and a very physical aspect to it. Obviously the spiritual part, like we just talked about, mentioned, uh, but the physical aspect is the boots on the ground needs of, of finances. When you look at, at, at our church, just take Genesis for instance, it takes, it takes finances, it takes money to run an, a, an organization like this, to have a building, to have a staff, to have worship, to have everything that's included. Uh, and then once those needs are covered, the outreach for us to actually be able to reach out into the community and take care of another command that Jesus gave us, which was to go, go and tell. And uh, that's, as Christians, that's each of our, our role and our responsibility, but even as a church. And so tithes are very important in that goal and that cause. I think when we try to keep God first place in our life, the relationship with God, the tithes, to be able to show God with our finances uh, that, that we know and appreciate what He did for us, I think that's one more aspect of uh, our faith. You know, God God never leaves us in mind. We know that. Uh, and so, He's not going to ask us for the tithe and then put us in the mind. I can tell you that whenever we were first married and finances were definitely tough, Rachel mentioned we were moving all over the country, literally. We moved, uh, we moved 11 times in seven years. Uh, so we were going all the time, and that's expensive to do. Uh, but in doing that, when we were faithful with our tithe, I can tell you we didn't always know how we were going to make it to the end of the month, but we always made it. We were never overdrawn. We never ran out of money before we ran out of bills, you know, which is amazing because we didn't always make the best financial choices. When we were faithful to God through the tithes, He was always faithful to us uh, in our finances. I, I equated a lot to, to we have we have a son, uh, first time he went to, to swim, and I'm in the pool, I said, just jump, I'll catch you. You know, I wouldn't have said jump, I'll catch you if I had no intention of catching you. I would have never said, hey, jump in the pool and I wouldn't let him drown. And God's a lot like that with us. If God doesn't need us to swim, it doesn't matter to him whether we swim or not, we need to swim uh, because that's a relationship. We know that God does not need us and his work will be done without if we don't do it. But are we gonna get that blessing or is he gonna to choose to pass that blessing on to someone else that is faithful? Uh, that's as us as individuals, that's us as Genesis as a church. Genesis folds up tomorrow, God's work will still be done in this city uh, in the state, in this country. Uh,
but it'll be us who make up Genesis, the family of Genesis. We will be the people that that uh, miss out on that blessing. And so, as a it's a congregation, as a group, as believers, uh, if we're faithful, God will be faithful to us.